That's my house where I grew up. I'm gonna show mom. Yeah, show mom. I didn't want to go past the second door on the left in your house. It was scary. That's my room. Bob lived in there. Bob lived right in there. That's the bathroom. That was my room. Who is the better wrestler out of the two, would you say? Oh, Stevie. I'm sorry, Bobby. Sorry, Bobby, but uh, Bobby ran into took some. He had some stumbling blocks. <laughs>、That's、hey, isolate that moment when Rick got mad at me and said I said it weird. <laughs> you said it weird. <laughs> Actually, you can rewind this and see if I said it weird or not, and if it, if it was just Rick. Okie dokie, out on the open road with my pals Rick Kosick and Joel Jimenez. Roadcast coming at you right now. Right now. Hey、Real、everyone,、hot. I'm still alive. <laughs> 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 People keep DMing me. Is Joel still alive? He is alive here in the flesh. I get messages. Why aren't you hanging out with Joel? We still hang out. Yeah, we haven't documented it recently. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's it. That's, that's it. it. Joel is kicking butt. Yes,、uh, we're on our way.、Uh, this was an excuse, really, <laughs> for us to get good food together.、Uh, we're going out to this place called Portillos, which is a Chicago classic eatery of、uh, of meats, of、uh, hot dogs,、uh, different steak sandwiches and stuff like that, and、uh, amazing dessert milkshakes. Oh my gosh, the cake shake is just fucking. It's、insane. next level. It's weird. Yeah. Like who ever thought of this is really fucking high. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> chunks of cake just in a shake.、God. I watched a. They had. There's like a YouTube short. Documentary on the actual on the cake shake, and you see them. You know, they take a full slice of cake, throw it in the cup, blend it. You, when you first told me about it, Rick, I didn't know because you hear all that, but like it, it, it tastes like actual like so, eating cake. You know. So last time you were with me, we went there. You didn't have the cake shake. No, I did. Wait, you didn't tell us. Up,、uh, uh, Santino was the one who had、oh, yeah. first、Santino、brought it up. Santino was、right. uh, who originally introduced me to this place. Yeah, we're, think, we're on the road in Chicago, and Santino goes, "You got to find a Portillos." Yeah. Well, this is the only location in California. Yeah. Yeah, this I, is the only one, right? The I, there might one. be one other, but I don't think it's like within. It's in Vegas. Dr- there we go. Okay, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what it is. But、yeah. so maybe Rick, you were the first person I knew that ordered one of those and had it, and that—that's the first time that I had tried and it. And it was scary good. Yeah. I mean, it knocks you on your butt. Yeah, I'm gonna sleep the rest of the day. I hope you guys like food talk, cause that's all this is gonna be. <laughs> I mean, I had no breakfast. Yeah, I had to do. I was getting so excited. I had to do a banana and a little cup of oatmeal. That's. I had a little bit of yogurt that they gave me. The ones that they gave me at the park, they just try it. <laughs> We're like those girls are like, I've had nothing today, <laughs> and then we just start <laughs> listing all the things we had. Oh, oh hi! Oh, that guy just flipped him off. Who does that anymore? Flip Someone, people off. Oh my God, he's still flipping them off. Yeah, they're like they're like Dude, talking that, to each other. Like, what? The, grow up. It's like that's how you're gonna get killed. Yeah, you never know who you're dealing with. Everybody know. knows MMA now. People have guns and shit. Yeah, that is a weird thing that MMA has become such a popular sport that civilians just know it now. Yeah. I also, remember, what an. I, I remember one morning I was driving my car and it was like at a light. I was like, the guy was like, obviously taking his time, and I just tapped the horn like maybe it's a hey. And he, he reaches his hand out the door of the the sunroof and gives me like this. I will kill you. <laughs> Look, it's、oh, the、wow. Thanos I like, hand. I was like, all right, well, yeah, I'm, just,、yeah. I'm just gonna continue driving on and mind my own business. Yeah,、Dude. I don't want to get killed by some crazy guy. Yeah, he's got kill tattooed on his knuckles. Exactly. <laughs> I just I, I'm I'm more sort of astounded at the act of I've never been that mad at someone to, in a car to like. Just the act of putting your hand out and and flipping someone off—it just seems like such a waste of time.、It's、fucking rude, man. <laughs> I think you know what I think. He needs to listen to the new Adele song and chill the fuck out. Ooh, is, what's that? Ooh, is there a new Adele song out? Adele is back after ten years, guys. Wow. <laughs> Dude, wow. Can I just say, I never thought that the breaking news would come from Rick Gossick <laughs> that Adele is back. <laughs> I mean. 
they need to work out those emotions, you know, and listen yeah. to her songs and maybe cry a little bit. Is Dude. it a sad <laughs> song? Is it poppy? All her songs are sad, I think. I don't know. I Listen, I, this is the first time I've ever uh, came across her shit. Okay. I looked at her channel on YouTube, and I was, like, blown away. This is how fucking popular this woman is. One of her videos was 1.8 billion views. Holy shit. Billion? Billion. Grief. I was like, damn. Damn, dude. That's that's massive. And I guess the song they said on the TV, when she releases, the highest streamed song ever. Wow. Blew everyone away. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. That's how. That's the power of Adele. Someone's <laughs> got to have done an R. Kelly streaming joke, right? It's got to have been. Dude, that motherfucker's going to prison. He's, yeah, he's gone, dude. Done. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, well, thanks for tuning yeah. in to JFI. Yeah. So we went from like emotional to like streaming and done. Dude, like we're talking about emotions. We just hit nine emotions <laughs> in 30 seconds. You know what? That guy's going to prison. Uh, yeah, I should listen to Adele a little bit more. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Man. Oh, dude. Uh, yeah, I have not had a chance to really hang with Rick and Joel in a minute. And hey, you've been pretty busy. I've been on the road quite a bit. That's great, man. I'm happy for you. Thanks, man. Hell yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm just trying to been balancing that podcast stuff with the stand-up stuff and that dad stuff. Yeah. That trifecta. Life. So I saw that your stand-up on the spot's doing really well. Yeah, man, I'm I'm super stoked about it. Um, if you haven't watched it yet, it's on this channel at youtubecom slash Jeremiah Watkins. And uh, yeah, and within the first week, it got 150,000 views. That's insane. That's that's, that's gonna be incredible for bookings in the future. Like I could, you know, yeah, absolutely. not that you've already done the festivals with it, but I feel like now it's gonna be another level. Yeah, I want to. Uh, the goal is uh, this one did uh, well enough where it really kind of is motivating me to try to find ways how to film the next one it's yeah it, it's really difficult to get there's a lot of logistical things that kind of course, go into of it course. A, comics don't want just the stuff. comics permission uh all those comics were gracious enough to be cool with me putting uh them in the special uh but be a venue that allows me to film at it mm. you know what i mean there's just yeah, a lot yeah, of, and sure. you have to release everyone's uh likeness yeah yeah, essentially. Yeah. The cool thing is with those sort of riff things that aren't material, I feel like it's uh, people are a little more inclined to be like, okay, it's not my act. Like I'll I'll uh, let you. Have oh yeah, that, for but. sure. And the people who are even willing to do that show in general are kind of like of that mindset. For sure. You know what I mean? Because some people ask to do the show and they're like, that's ah, not my thing. I'm like, I get it. It's hard. It's yeah. It's a very unique format. So. Yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah, it just I'm, weeds uh, out the pros amongst the amateurs. <laughs> <laughs> you hear that? If you've ever said no, you suck. Yeah. <laughs> Joel, you're re you're really good at the show, dude. Thank you, you. You've yeah. done it multiple times, and Joel is. I tell anybody who who is uh uh who, what when I ask them if they're hesitant, I go, "There's a reason why I'm asking you a, and b. If you know your voice and you're just an inherently funny person, you'll succeed at the show because you are firing from." your comedic voice which is good you it's know? terrifying i think that that's good though like the fear makes you feel uh, aware um i think you also do a good job of setting it up like you know and then you come out at the end of it and it, it just smooths it over it makes it feel more uh welcoming than like just walking a tightrope you know it's like oh i try to you know when we do uh like that show the show that we just did in huntington beach for sure yeah i was gonna bring that up I think um, there's a way to set up people for success. Uh, like I was closing out the show on Huntington Beach that, that Joel was just on and Willie Hunter and uh, Johnny Scordis and uh, Kenny so Weber. So fun, man. And uh, I go out at the very top and just say, hey, everybody, uh, I'm going to close out the show at the very end, but uh, these are my friends that, that uh, I handpicked to do the show. So like show them some love and uh, give them all your attention. I'll be out here in a little bit, but, you know, Give them everything you got for the mm -hmm. time being. See, I'm courteous to this guy. I'm not going to flip him off. He's not going <laughs> to flip me off. They're listening to Adele. They're probably listening to Adele. They're probably. They're in their own world right now. Exactly. Yeah. We don't know what they're listening to, but it's probably it's just it's Adele. But when you when you do the, just a little stuff like that, it just helps a lot for with, sure. with, uh, with the I audience. Just made his, I just made his day. What? Letting him in? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> he's like, wow, that car was really nice. I'm having a great day. Yeah. <laughs> Till the next person doesn't let him in. And he's yeah. like, fuck. I'm having the worst day the of worst my day life. Ever. Yeah. yeah, I saw uh, stand up on the spot once at the comedy store, mm-hmm. and it was before the pandemic, and it was fun. It was a good uh, format. One of my suggestions, I got yelled at by some female. <laughs> <laughs> what? She was super rude. She to didn't. Me. She didn't like the suggestion. Uh, uh-uh, she was fucking angry. I was like, oh whoa, oh, sorry, whoa. You uh, know, hot like, button issue, I guess. God. <laughs> Struck a negative. <laughs> in her defense, he did go, "Hey, female." <laughs> no, here's my. Yeah, in her defense, Rick yelled the suggestion: "Women aren't funny." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and she's like, "I don't know why she didn't that like is it." Not true, <laughs> but you know, yeah. Oh, Chaka, Chaka damn, dude. Yeah, he's he has an Instagram, by the way. So I you, know you for can, sure. You can get him. Hey, did somebody say chocolate? Ch- <laughs> Whoa. No, Chaka's a really famous LA graffiti writer from like. The 80s. I, he's even, uh, well, he didn't write it, but he's on Dave Girl's bass drum in the Nevermind, smell, uh, in the Smells Like Teen Spirit video, it says Chaka. I believe Dave Girl wrote that. And Chaka was in prison at the time, and they like they were like, hey, Chaka, look, you're in the, they, they put your name in this video. Oh, dude, that's yeah, cool. Yeah, it's pretty sick. It was yeah, like he a was cultural like the most, phenomenon. He was like the most sought out graffiti artist because his name was everywhere. And they're, he was like a manhunt. They're trying to get this guy. Yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. It was insane. And yeah, they, and they, they got, got him. him. They got him. But Him and uh, there was another guy named Sleaze. It was Chaka and Sleaze, and they were they would go out together. And... So if you want to get Chaka, he's got an Instagram. You know, it's easy yeah, to get Yeah, the infamous of. Chaka, I believe, yeah. or infamous Chaka. So if you want to get him, rat him out, there you go. <laughs> oh, don't do that. <laughs> no, I don't want you to do that. But He actually did a wall by my house. Did he? Yeah, really nice. Nice. Yeah, he's got all these cool deals with like clothing people now, and you know it's it's weird when when like vandal art turns into a profession. You know, I mean, you guys did that with Jackass and all that too. It's the things that start out super crazy and then become a a job. Yeah, I know, right? I guess stand up uh, is like that too, but just just I don't know. Yeah, that's got to be crazy. Just seeing the evolution over the years, Rick, of like from Big Brother to Jackass and how. Just the trajectory, all that stuff. It, when you ever just take a look back, like a step back from everything, and just look at like the storyline and be yeah, like, "Whoa, this is yeah. nuts!" It is nuts, and it's like I was just thinking about yesterday. Like I, I was like, "Man, we shot another movie." Damn, isn't that nuts? It's crazy. We we did it. We did it during the middle of the pandemic. You know, well, I think it was a kind of a drag. We didn't get to travel like we, I think, we were hoping for. But, uh, yeah, do more like stuff on the road and hidden yeah, camera kind of stuff. More, we did some hidden camera. There was some that did go down. But I just feel like it's some of your best things are when you're out of your element, comfort zone. I was like, yeah, to say, yeah. Know? That's just like stand up on the spot. It's that that whole thing. It's like, yeah, I don't know. The 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 moving on the fly and all that sometimes creates some really cool stuff that you wouldn't have gotten had you been stagnant. Everyone but, came to work. Put it this way, sober. Every yeah, day. that every helps day. a lot. It helps a lot, but it, it help, works against you sometimes too because you want to catch these guys when they're uh, slacking, slacking a little bit because that's when you're like you get your best moments. <laughs> right. That's what always terrified me about like being friends. Like in that friend group, I'm like, I don't think I could relax. I just never know when they're gonna like, you know, throw a snake at me or fucking I don't know, slap me with the fish or something. Have butter bean, you know, kick me in the ass. Joel, did you ever go here and see this? The, this Jesus is the way and the truth and the Actually, life? I founded that church uh, in 1986. It oh, used wow. to be the Olympic Auditorium. Oh, yeah, the shrine. No, it was was it the... No. Oh, the, the Olympic? That's okay. The, that was the Olympic, and they used to hold the best fucking punk rock shows in there. <clears throat> no, I never went to a show oh, there. Oh, my God. I saw the whole entire English punk rock movement Wow. when I was in high school. Damn. Uh, insane. Just like amazing is when golden voice kind of started cool and like shows are like was eight. golden voice started by the same guy that did warp tour i don't think uh, so okay i don't know yeah i know golden voice has like punk roots like in the beginning and stuff like, um it was like eight bucks to get in or something damn. you know like that you know, is like, punk rock yeah. yeah you know i went to the ukrainian hall for a wrestling thing recently and i was like i wonder if this do you know if it's the same one it's on Ukraine? it's on melrose yeah you know that was like I don't like know. the bad brains and circle jerks played there, like but, in the eighties. But. but back then, they would there was all these different halls, you yeah. know, like uh, they would do shows at. So yeah. it'd be all over Los Angeles, they have to get their hands on. Did you ever see the Minutemen, Rick? 
Yes, I did. Okay, yeah, because you're, you're from Pedro, right? I'm not from. They they're from Pedro. They are, yeah. yeah. But you're you're from the South Bay, or? Well, I'm from the, Orange County. Gotcha. I grew okay. up, but I saw them play in Wilmington, open up for the Dead Kennedys before oh, the riot wow. broke out. Yeah, it was exciting. Dang. So you've seen the Dead Kennedys with Jello? Yes, I have. Dang, that's cool. Yeah, it was awesome. Dang. Without giving anything away, did uh, did you get messed with in this uh, in this upcoming Jackass film? Uh, not really, no. Yeah. You know, eh, nah. I don't know. Nothing really. If they did something, I just kind of laughed. So, right, right. I don't know. It's those days are done. <laughs> 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 yeah. Now it's especially like I feel like a movie is more of like a professional environment where like. When you guys were running around with just like handhelds, like it was we did. more. We did run around with handhelds. Yeah. yeah. Damn. But well, I, I guess I, I mean like Big Brother days, you know. Well, I mean things matured obviously as years gone by, and we learned what we can and cannot do. Yeah. I mean, when we shot the television show, we broke so many laws. <laughs> so, yeah, like, that's what's interesting is like, you know, oh, we used to be able to like go to jail for this stuff. Now we're doing like movies with it, you know, like it, it's it been legitimized. What was the one law that you remember uh, breaking, shooting the show? Well, there is a moment where uh, where Knoxville's on skates and we're in the Ellie River. Oh, and yeah. I'm listening on a, on a ladder, like a. Uh, so we put a ladder across the channel, you know, where the water's going through. Yeah. And uh, Knoxville is coming down to jump the, you know, the Ellie River, and he breaks his ankle. Ooh, oh, man. But we had no filming permits, and we jumped the fence, and all that right there for television is against the law. <laughs> Broke everything. You know, you're not supposed to do any of that. So we did it. Like I said, a lot of things with the TV show days, we just did it, you know. and Yeah, run and gun filming. Yeah, and that's what was really fun and special about it. Uh, that's what was the most fun about when, before the networks got involved with uh, uh, Roast Battle mm. is yeah. we did some pretty gnarly things, but then, like, as soon as they caught wind, like, they wanted us to start rehearsing the bits with the director, and that's when it got watered down. Oh, man. Man, I'm, I'm so lucky that I got to see the Roast Battle show in its heyday and, you know, just sit back and, you know, Steven ran off and just say, hey, just just tell the guy at the door. Oh, I should probably not say this. And I, and I can get in. So I did. <laughs> and then I'll, I'll, just, just, I'll just bleep it out. That's all good. <laughs> yeah. That'll be funny. Yeah. I'll be like, what and, did he say? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and so, um, <laughs> so I would just Is there turn, a secret passcode? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, well, that's, yeah, I did yeah, it. Yeah, so, there is. And I would stand in the very back. Of the, you know, I didn't care. And I would see the most amazing things happen. Oh yeah! In that room is just so magical that I felt like I was at a punk rock show because it had For that sure. kind of, it had that energy. It was so tight in there, like I was just standing room only, like man. And I would go to work the next day, and I report to my friends at work, like, man, you have no idea what I watched last night. It was the most amazing shit ever. <laughs> like, <laughs> it was incredible. And, Leslie Jones almost beat up some fucking guy. You yeah, know? Like, yeah. Like, she, yeah. He wasn't. I'm like, I'm like, yeah. I'm at the right fucking club. Yeah, a movie star just almost beat up an open mic. This <laughs> yeah. is crazy. Oh my it's god. Fucking, you know you're at the right place. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Just the stuff that was said in that room. Oh, oh my god. god. So there, it was insane. So racist and so wrong on so many levels. From every direction, and people just dying, laughing in every direction. Yeah, yeah. safe haven for all that. It was, you know. You know what's cool is some of the people that really, that sort of made it out of those belly room days that ended up, you know, writing stuff like for TV. And you know, I just saw last week's roast battle, and you see like, um, like uh, some of the battlers, and you're like, wow, you guys are really phenomenal, just joke writers. Like, no fat, just great. You know, set up punchline, and I don't know, man. So I feel like in the beginning that you had the best of L.A. You know, had to offer as far as yeah. comics coming. It through. was the hottest show in it the was. fucking town, Jeez, dude. Truck, that guy was crazy. Yeah, I was like, stay in your lane, pal. Uh, and then, <laughs> and then, uh, <laughs> I love these asides that yeah, Ricky yeah, says. Yeah. I like, hey, I made their it. day. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, stay in your lane, pal. <laughs> they suck my dick. Yeah, yeah. When's that one coming? Yeah. <laughs> 
So, uh, but when they, all those comics stop doing it, it's kind of when the show kind of, it's like, all right, I guess it's sort of ran its course, you know? Like, I mean, I'm, I know it's still going strong, you know? I'm glad to see. I haven't been to one in a while because it's stupid. It's a different animal now, for yeah, sure. Yeah, but Joel's playing, you're playing in the band, and yeah. that's cool. Yeah, for sure. It's fun. It's just great to be still a part of, like, the comedy store sort of thing, you know? I, I really feel really lucky to be there heck yeah man it's a great place to be a part of and you know playing with jesse and chris and like we had joel rogowski this last week join us on guitar Dude, and he is such a talented guitar oh player God. i told rick like we were sending him songs trying to pick songs he sent me a google doc with 200 songs that he knows it, it's insane it's insane that guy's he's, insane yeah he's like here's this like pop like 90s stuff and then here's all the other shit i know and i was like holy shit yeah, he can just bust that out at yeah. any moment. Yeah, he it's, plays out of that trippy amp. I think it's an acoustic. Yeah, guitar. it's an. Yeah, I was asking him about it. So he got that because him and Nick do a two piece. Like Elemental P is a two piece. So um, he uh, he found that that acoustic amp, when it's just a guitar and drums, gives more of like a bass tone. I guess. See, that's what I like about his style. He he has his own way of things. Yeah. If, you know, when a, a good guitarist can do that, you know, and yeah, it's cool, man. And then he's got this cool fucking um, thing that's like glued at the end of his guitar, it's stuck on that that turns it into a MIDI controller, what? and so he can do like weird keyboard sounds yeah. and stuff. Like, See, yeah, because they yeah they do like all this like Beastie Boys stuff, and he can create all those weird sounds and. It was funny. He's like, I got this huge pedal board, but tonight I just brought my travel one, and the travel one's still it's super still sick. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Man. Yeah, shout out to Joe Rakowski and Nick yeah. Liberator from Elemental P, and also uh, they uh, did the full band on the Reagan and Watkins album, which yeah. Rick Kosick, our pal over here, made uh, an amazing documentary, uh, which I still love, man. I I'm still super that again, grateful too. that uh, – Oh, that we made out, that together. That, t- that turned out really fun, didn't it? It turned out great, man. Like, I love the opener. It's so cool. Yeah. You, yeah. you and Benji knocked out of the park, dude. Yeah. Well, Keel helped out, too. And man. Keel. And Keel. Hell, yeah. But Shout yeah, out to Keel Yulberg. Yeah, man. And uh, yeah, Star was- player in a lot of Jeremiah Watkins sketches and shorts. I'll tell you that much. Yeah. Steady cam up. Yeah, he's good, man. Yeah, that was fun. Uh, wow, a little... It's just fun how it kind of morphed into its own direction, and we just kind of followed that lead, you know? And it, I was Jolina in that, right? Is that the one? Oh, yeah, like, dude. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we did the characters in that one. It was a lot of fun. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, that's the one of the first times I remember, like, he, like never mind. <laughs> it's a whole thing. My favorite moment is when we went to Bobby Lee's house. Oh, that was pretty epic, Oh, yeah, dude. I heard, epic, yeah. man. Just we kind of it, gave him a little idea, and they just ran with he it. He knocked pissed. it out of the park so hard on that. <laughs> yes, he and Kalila both did. They were both so funny in it. Yeah, so his funny. energy's at 110. He's like, are you talking about Reagan and Watkins again? Yeah, me and Jeremiah walked out. Hey, let's go celebrate get some shakes. We really did. We Hell celebrated yeah. because the footage was so good. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, Rick, we got to celebrate that that footage that we just got. It's right so now, good right now. Just, we walked out on our tippy toes. We were so high. Like, I was going to say when, you're at, when uh, Darwin goes... Fuck yeah. <laughs> he says so, <laughs> something like that. And I'm like, <laughs> it always just hits really hard when Darwin curses because he, he does in a lot of the times. And, you know, it's, I know you got your Darwin shirt on today, huh? I do, actually. Yeah, I this wonder. is one of my throwback shirts. Damn. Some throwback merch here. Throw it, throw it back. Throw it back. Throw it back. Yeah, dude, that whole just the way um, I so I, I called Rick. Uh, when we were about to go re- record that Reagan and Watkins album a few years back. And uh, I was like, hey, would you possibly be down to maybe come up and shoot some stuff for this album? <laughs> oh, my God. Are we going to get into the hotel talk? Yeah. <laughs> this album that we're putting together. And then, you know, all of us are just crashing in that hotel room, this tiny little... We <laughs> this, did it. It was we like did a it. hotel, too, or something. <laughs> yeah. Near the freeway. Yeah, man. It was it was awesome. It, it was really fun. It was just such was a so fun. fun, funny experience. We are having like schoolgirls in the grocery store, man. Oh, dude, just grabbing cliff bars and all this different just stuff. Stuff. Just having so much fun. And- yeah, man. That's like my favorite part about being on the road is is stuff like that. It's just like the amount of laughs that you get oh, on yeah. the road. That's what that's what one of the reasons I love doing uh, this podcast mobily sometimes is because it just brings out a different 
energy. Yeah. Because yeah, you're not trying. You know, it's just yeah. kind of spare of the moment. You also have a destination, so you got to focus on other things, too. Right now, we're focusing on a lot of traffic. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. This just in, traffic talk with Cossack. These cars are in between me and my Italian beef. Accidents. Are you talking about the thing between your legs or your <laughs> lunch, dude? Yeah, what are dude. you talking Both. about, dude? What the? So what are you going to order for lunch? Oh, I'm going to readjust your mic if that's okay. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm debating <laughs> right now? Because they, they dip the, the sandwiches in gravy. Ooh. Like the, like the au jus or whatever. And I think they all come like slightly wet, but I think I might go fucking hard. Like get, <laughs> I might get it like soaked. Then, then, then the bread's all gross. I don't I, give a shit. Fuck, I hate that. <laughs> I really do. Man. Yeah, I, it's fucking gross. You know man. what? Tell us about it, man. Yeah, tell us. Yeah, I, I don't like my bread all soggy. Oh, and, oh. you know, sorry. Okay. Whoa. Yeah. What, what about if you got a side of the au jus? You got your your sandwich and, and you dip, dip it? it, like a French dip. Yeah, I can probably live with that. But that, yeah, okay, yeah, the front is soggy. Then you can just kind of like the part you were about to bite, it'll be it'll just fine. But when it's the whole sandwich, you, you're trying to hold it, then it's a mess. Yeah, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> just isolate that clip. No, what I love, <laughs> I mean, Rick and I literally have passionate talks about food all the time <laughs> we're both foodies and we're uh, like we get so excited like and just talking about it so like i mean obviously if we're all driving to go get food like in the middle of a, a weekday yeah 45 50 minutes away yeah originally i suggest we drive to blythe because there's a really good mexican <laughs> restaurant out there it would have been like a three-hour drive it would have been insane yeah. it would have been insane we always stop there though thanks to you on the way to um uh, arizona. arizona yeah i found that we found that on doing the TV show King of the Road by accident, and it was so good. Like they make their own tortillas. It yeah, it's phenomenal. I've eaten phenomenal. so much fucking food there before. Like it's like an old crusty, rundown Del Taco like looking kind of building. Yeah, but, man, the food is so slamming. Yeah, it might have been right. The, the it's like when like a Winchell's gets something like bought like, out, and then and now it's like Michelle's or something. They, I don't know what's just, Michelle. Who's that? There's well, there's one in Hollywood. It used to be a Winchell's, and all they did was like oh, Winchell's. flip the W like upside down, and now oh, it's like a Michelle's, like weird. donuts, Mitchell's, <laughs> yeah, Mitchell's, something like that. Something like that. So it's like That's on funny. like, it's on like Melrose and something. You've worked with like, okay, skaters, musicians over the years. Do you have a favorite type of artist to work with, or or do they all have differing qualities that you because like. That's a pretty, I mean, it's all like kind of in, in the realm, I feel like, of that kind of like anti establishment <laughs> punk kind yeah. of, right? He says magicians. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like. Funeral directors. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> You've worked with a lot of different people over the years. You know, I, I, it's hard to say that there's one thing I really enjoyed more than the other. Uh, I just, as long as it's, we're having fun and it's flowing and there's no, like, it's all fun, you know? Yeah. yeah. I think for me it was uh, with when I was doing Big Brother, what, what made it really difficult towards the end is like I had to work pretty much seven days a week, and I didn't get enough time off. Yeah. And if I had more time off, or whatever, I wouldn't have burned out so hard. Yeah. And when I was done with Big Brother, I did not even pick up a camera for a few years because I was like, "You're that burnt." I was. Wow. Fried. I was wow. so over it. I was so angry, and it was like, "Fuck this, man." I hated it. Yeah, when I left the skate park job, I was like, I didn't skate for like a few years. I didn't even want to go near anything that had to do with skating. And Dude, I didn't go inside. I didn't step foot into a Starbucks for years after I stopped yeah. working there. Yeah, because, you know, it's like there's something about it just, you know, you get so like frustrated with it. Yeah, my wife would literally, she'd stop to get coffee, and I was like, I'll wait for you outside. She's like, what? I'm like, I, yeah, I'm like, I get I, that. I'm like, I'm Fuck sorry. I, like, I, I literally, can't I can't. It. Like, there's something about it I can't. The smells, yeah. all of it's, like, really sensory, like, takes you back almost to the to how you felt when you were there. Mm -hmm. You know, and I get to the point where I stopped, like, collecting the issues. I'm like, I don't give a fuck, man. Yeah, it's like, yeah. I regret I didn't do that, but. <laughs> well, what's cool is, like, you were a part of it, so you don't, you know, in the long run, it's like you don't even need the issues. Like, you are the, you you were. Yeah, but still, it's, I know, it's good I know. to have it, you know. Yeah. For, because now I'm in the process of I'm getting ready to start putting together a book, you know. Oh, that's true. Yeah. So it would be nice to, you know, maybe have all the material. And if anybody out there has stuff Rick doesn't have, send it to him. He, yeah, he, he needs it more than you, you fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah. 
man. But yeah, to answer your question, I don't know, man. I, I like it all. Everything kind of it has its time and its place, and you know, you just kind of follow the what's what's coming your way and make the most of it. And mm -hmm. yeah, it's it a. Roll. I was stoked when when I started really getting to get to know you better when you started hanging out at the comedy store. You know, dude, I had so much fun going there. That was every Monday night was like my weekend. I yeah, looked, yeah, you know, it's like it's a great hangout. Tons of people there. You know, it's a good social vibe and seeing like Ryan, Ryan J. E. Bell. Yeah, there. I miss seeing him for sure. And uh, I don't know, it's just really just something special. It's a special time, you know. I'm sure yeah. eventually come back one day. Yeah, I've probably yeah. I've said this a billion times, but people always say, you know, it's like jumping in a cab. You know, you ride the cab while you're in it, and then you get out, you you catch the next cab. You know, there there will be another cab coming. As far as far as like, Can I go down the six hundred five, uh, to the ninety one. Uh, I think what, so. Whatever your gut's telling you, I would say yes. Or I mean, it's flowing right now. There's no traffic. Yeah, this says like fourteen minutes on the oh, that's five. Not, that's not bad at all. Or what? Yeah, okay. on this one. Yeah, and you just Stand exit. Five? Yeah, okay. Magnolia in like nine minutes. Okay. Oh, that's fine. not bad at all. Good. That's yeah, we, really good. I got super that. excited right now. Dude, I think I'm gonna murder myself with food right now so i think we all are it's gonna be quite fun. i think i'm gonna do chili cheese dog chicago dog italian beef sandwich damn you eat all that dude Wet. joel can eat like i don't know eat all that man like fuck i used to finish everyone's food on tour oh dude yep i'm overweight and i can't eat that much yeah. jesus christ dude. yeah well you don't have to brag, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably a problem, you know. <laughs> it's probably when that metabolism starts to slow down, you're gonna have a problem, my friend. Oh, for sure. I already feel it. Like I used to be able to, like, if I gained weight, I could kind of lose it within a couple of weeks, and now I'm like, dude, it is not coming off. Like, uh oh. So. Pretty soon we're gonna see fat, fat Joel. Fat Joel. <laughs> oh, there's pictures of. Of Joel and myself both, like, when we're, like... Yeah. Like, you see it in our faces and our necks where you're like, oh, these guys, like, are not eating healthy yeah, right now. Yeah, yeah, I've seen it. It yeah. happens when you're on the road, though. Dude, it, I mean, it's almost impossible. Yeah. Like, it's really difficult to not put on weight when... If you're out every weekend because you're so hungry and you have so much adrenaline once you get off stage... Yeah. ...that you want to eat. But then you go right to bed after that, after you crash, and then obviously it's a comfort good. thing too. You know, you're you're in some weird city, like it's it's just like a nice dude, thing to do. Eat and beat, go to sleep. Yeah, let's exactly. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, what were you doing? No, okay. <laughs> I thought you were pooping after you ate. I uh, I, ne I was respectful, and every time we went on the road, I wouldn't jerk off in the shower or anything like I that. I think there was times where I was the like, place to do it. Huh? Isn't that the place to that do it? That would be the place to do it, but I wouldn't Not do it. Not when you're I sharing a shower. It goes down the drain. I don't know, oh, dude. This is a real punk rock guy I over know. here, dude. <laughs> well, what, what, if you do it on the soap, then that's that's gross. But if, like, oh, Dude, the... I'm not shooting a load on a bar of soap <laughs> and then leaving it as a present for my friend Joel. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. dude. That's freaking, that's gnarly. <laughs> I'm trying to think. What was I going to say about the eating on the road? I'm like. Uh, I mean, honestly, some of my favorite memories with Joel is when we were, like, literally eating garbage on the road. Yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> great. A lot of good food memories. Yeah, most mem most of the memories are food memories. It's just that and maybe holding koalas. That's about... <laughs> Man. You yeah, fuck. It was great. Uh, we had really good Thai food in Australia, and then... Uh, when I came back, I didn't realize that, like, my settings were still fucked up on, like, my Grubhub or something. And I had ordered Thai food from that same place in Australia when I was back in L.A. <laughs> and they was like, they're making your order. And I had to call and be like, I'm so sorry. Sorry, like, I'm on the other side of the world right <laughs> yeah, now. Yeah. It's my bad. So what exit am I looking for? Um, it says uh, Magnolia in 6.2 miles. Okay, we got a little bit to go. We only yeah. have about Valley views like, about 11 minutes away though which is tight as hell yeah we're flowing pretty good down the five yeah oh my we, God. we picked a good time to go any other time would suck yeah yeah like 5 30 oh man we'd be just like so pissed at each other 
I, unlike the both of you, did not eat anything this morning. I had a Pedialyte oh, and a Rockstar. You're starving. Ooh, Pedialyte and Rockstar. Yeah. What? It was uh, my Pedialyte. girlfriend's birthday last night, so I, you know, had a threw a couple back, you know, and oh. he's a wanted, ba- he's a baby addict. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I wanted to hydrate. Pedialyte's the shit, dude. Pedialyte freeze pops. You oh, gotta yeah. try them. That sounds good. They are we, phenomenal. They help you get your levels back. It's amazing. That's how you know we're getting older. <laughs> no, they pass them out on set. When they, they have nice. like, water with Pedialyte like powder. Like the guy's like, here, drink oh, this. Oh, for sure. And it's like crucial. Yeah, yeah. it helps a lot. Because when you're in the sun all day, phew, it takes everything out of you. Yeah, there's some memes now where it's like, you know. It'll be like a purse, and it'll be like what your purse looks like in your 20s, what it looks like in your 30s. It's like in your 20s, it's like makeup, like all that stuff. And then later on, it's like pills, like creams for your back. like Creams for your back. Creams? Uh, you know, I don't know. Fucking CBD ointment. You know, who, I don't know. Who uses that stuff? CBD ointment? I think a lot yeah. of people do. Yeah. I don't. CBD lotions and stuff like that. Do you use it? No, I don't. Neither do I. I've I never do. Even, I've never even tried CBD. Me neither. I used to go hard on it. Really? How hard are we talking, bro? Well, at Skankfest, they were they just had it around for free, and so I grabbed a bunch of the gummies. I would eat like four before bed because I don't think it really works unless you take like a lot of it. Like one of those gummies is not doing shit, I don't think. So I would take mm-hmm. like at least 100 milligrams, and then it would just help me go to bed. Yeah. I'd put a CBD gummy in a bong, and no, I'm kidding. I don't know. Fire it up, dude. Yeah, Fire I'm it up. I'm still alive. I am no longer funny. <laughs> Shut up, dude. Just kidding. Uh, <laughs> oh. Man. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> the, these little things Rick is doing are the star of this podcast right now. This little sides. Man. Oh, fuck, I hate, fucking hate driving next to trucks, dude. <laughs> Freaks me the fuck out. <laughs> Sir, it's like it freaks me out, man. I'm gonna do a super cut of all the all, I hope, all really the, hope all so. the traffic comments. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> dude. Oh, dude. Just listen to Adele all the way to what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, they have been working on this freeway for fucking ever. Uh, dude. you uh, uh, how's your leg doing, dude? You've been kind of doing rehab and stuff on that for a little bit. It's doing pretty good, you know. It's uh, it's getting a lot better than it's been, man. It's been quite of a journey. I broke my yeah. ankle on set. Yeah, what? It's been about a year now, no? No, it hasn't been that long. Six but months? Seven was everybody months, freaking out on set when it happened? I don't think anyone gave a fuck. They sent a lawyer <laughs> over. <laughs> no, it was just like it was, we were filming the opener, and I was like an extra in the scene. I'm not gonna say what we were shooting. Yeah. Uh, I'm not gonna say who accidentally fell on me because I don't want to put people like that on blast. Whoa. It's, uh, it's just out of respect, you know. Yeah, like, yeah. It was an for accident sure. for sure. And then uh, we got knocked off our feet and. <laughs> You will yeah. tell us when we press stop on this, right? Yeah, it's no big deal. I'll tell you. But, yeah, he accidentally fell on me and broke my fibula bone. And oh, my goodness. <laughs> fuck. It, it was so painful. Fuck, dude. I mean, yeah. I've got some ideas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't want to. I tell you, man, you, it's a bone you do not want to break. Yeah, I yeah. want to see. It's a pretty thick one. I'm looking no, it up right now. Fibula is a small one. Tibula is the big one. That's the thigh one. right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see it. Tibia is the bigger bone down by your ankle, and the fibula is the oh small one that runs along the side. I knew this kid who broke his fibula and his tibula. Oh my god, once. that sounds awful. He had that cast that goes up to like your hip, you know, <laughs> up to your neck. <laughs> <laughs> so He's wearing it as a sweater. So, Remember like body casts when they were in comedies, like somebody would dude, be in a full. Yes. You got to do a sketch like that. Yeah. So just you know, I go get. Uh, straight to urgent care to get a check you know x-ray i'm like oh I, i'm like fuck i hope this is gonna be okay oh man the guy comes back and he's like hey man you need to go to the emergency room right now and see an orthopedic surgeon Jeez. i'm like that's not the news i want to hear yeah and so i start talking back to production and also my phone's just going crazy and the next thing you know i'm off my on my way to usc Keck facility hmm. they put my leg in the the guy goes, yeah, we're going to have to operate on it. That was like seven days later. Damn. But then the, they put my leg in a cast, and then, then this woman comes in and just pops it back into place. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, man. It was just like, <laughs> thank God it was late in the day because I was screaming, man. Wait, like, did she give you any, like, nothing? 
She's probably good it? though, right? Like, because if you're know. bracing for it, I think it would really scare me. I might pass out, you know. Fuck, I didn't. Fuck, but it was dude. so painful. Oh. And then yeah, just the whole everything. Um, it was just such a long. From the initial break to oh, you're gonna exit Magnolia. It's Is coming that? up. Okay. Um, from the initial break to like the first, did they they gave you pain meds or like, how long were you hurting until you got some sort of relief? Uh, well, you know, I, for some reason I didn't buy, pick up my, I didn't think they get, they prescribed me a bunch of pills. Yeah. I didn't take them. Damn. They were like opiates, you know? Yeah. I yeah only that's took, gnarly though, dude. Yeah. I only took them after I had the surgery. Okay. But from the initial like injury till you were just, just fucking right and dirty. <laughs> Pretty much. I just take like Tylenol. Holy shit, man. Couldn't We're, sleep very well. Had, just, you, had you ever gone to the hospital from doing something on set like that or filming something? Oh, that's the second injury from Jackass. That's been pretty serious. Damn. What was the first one? My right knee. <laughs> I broke my ACL. dick. <laughs> Tore Damn my ACL. Me. Tore your ACL and, and and what happened with your knee? It was part of the knee, the ACL. Uh, what was what, what ha- like? What happened? Chris uh, Pontius. <laughs> <laughs> we were at a fight club in Florida. This never made it to television. <laughs> we're filming. <laughs> we're filming a fight club in Florida. Yeah, a real. F- oh yeah, like those, like what Masvidal and like Kimbo Slice were fucking in. I don't know. What was that? that was in Florida? Yeah, they had all these. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, go ahead. So we're trying to film a bunch of stuff, and it just oh. didn't go good. They had me fighting Wee Man, and I'm beating the crap out of my best friend. I felt bad. And then oh, Chris man. comes in the ring and does like a wrestling move and just snaps my ACL. Oh my! Holy it shit! It was so painful, and then I had to have knee surgery, and then yeah, I was out for a year, pretty much a year. They send you a card or anything? <laughs> <laughs> no, man. It was... You're gonna turn uh, right on West La Palma. It's, it's like the next main oh, street, right? Yeah. Okay. Guys, we're so close. I he can't. Sent, he sends. He sends you a man thong. He's like, "My bad, dude. My bad. Wrap it up, dude." That's a sling for the for the leg. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh man, that's crazy. So yeah, and then, uh, but yeah, with my ankle, man, it's just been like pretty interesting. You know, the recovery it got infected. Damn, dude. Yeah, scrape all the scabs off, and then oof, pack it with like can iodine you, clay. Can you wait to tell us this till we're eating, please? Oh yeah. Okay. They put the scabs on the beef it's sandwich. Right here. You turn right on this uh, street. Right on La Palma? Yeah. That's God dang it. It's all good. You said it weird. You said something other something else. Oh, West La Palma? Oh, whatever. We're on a roadcast, dude. Sorry. Anything dude. can happen on the roadcast. Hey, isolate that moment when Rick got mad at me and said I said it weird. <laughs> you said it weird. <laughs> Actually, you can rewind this and see if I said it weird or not. And if it, if it was just Rick, it's right here. You turn right on this street. <laughs> you go back and weird. it's like, turn right on. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, what? It's like a. Well, you, you made it seem like it's like down a ways. So I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Everyone rewind it where I said it's the next main street. <laughs> <laughs> We're in Orange County, man. It's different down here. You're right. You ever seen the documentary Clockwork Orange County, Rick? It's about the cuckoo's nest. No, was that that? That's before your your time. Way before right? my yeah. time. I never went there. Seemed cool, man. For those that don't know, the cuckoo's nest was a really uh, like a punk club in Orange County where a lot of bands came through. Um, yeah, Black Flag, the Ramones played there a bunch. Yeah, you guys both share a love for punk. Yeah. Yeah, dude. What do you share? What I share with you guys? Yeah. What do you, What do you love for music? Oh, for music? You like you probably like in the groups like Men at Work, right? With a saxophone. I like Men at Work, all right, but that, <laughs> that, that wouldn't be at the top of my list. Like when I say, you know, my favorite artists and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. Okay. Say someone gives you free tickets to Haircut whatever. Which would another you? Another group that squeeze in the sax. <laughs> Right? You said free tickets? To, yeah, like what someone? would you lose your mind where like maybe even cry, not cry, but just be like, oh my God, this is so awesome. Uh, <laughs> the top two that come to mind that I've been wanting to see live. Well, I've got three. Top three. Okay, cool. I like that. Uh, Muse. Okay. Arctic Ooh, Monkeys. Okay. And nice. Justin Timberlake. Ooh. Damn. Yeah. Uh, you, I'd love to see. Would you just dance in the seat? 
I would lose my mind seeing Justin Timberlake. Yeah. Really? I, I would have a good so show, much man. freaking fun. Dude, he's such a performer. Yeah. He's one of the best performers there is. Him, Jamie Foxx are, in my opinion, some of the most talented people on earth. Yeah, Jamie Foxx is incredible. It's unbelievable. Dude. He's a he's a singer? Yeah. Uh, Jamie Foxx? I don't remember. Dude, he's dude. A, he sang all the stuff in Ray, I he, believe. He did all the vocals in Ray. Oh, man, that was a great movie. He did all the, uh, yeah. It's incredible. And he's you like, know what was a really uh, good movie and everyone missed was Respect. Oh, yeah, I you missed told that me one. it was good. I got to go it see it. It came out in that weird and, pandemic time. I know, and it's like it's on demand, but Jennifer Hudson sings everything in the movie. It's Jeez. fucking Well, she's phenomenal. next level, dude. It's such a good movie. Like, it's you probably hear a lot more about it when the Academy Awards come around. Yeah. She's probably going to win something. She has to. It's like that good. Okay. I walked out of the theater like, that was the best movie I've seen in a while. Yeah. I remember you going, if she doesn't get an award, that's just racist. <laughs> you know, I just saw the other day and I was kind of pissed off was Halloween Kills. Oh, really? I'm going to see that oh. hopefully tonight. Uh, I can't look, wait. Look, Take look. that left. Oh, my, oh God, my God, dude. Oh, my God, dude. No way. Da, 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 Oh, they have right. a drive through Yeah. Yeah, they do. We're not going to drive through We're going to go sit inside. Yeah, Let's dude. sit inside. Yeah. Hi, I'm Jeremiah Watkins, and I'm in Kentucky. And you know what? If I had to place my bets on any underwear, it would be sheath underwear. Go to sheathunderwear.com and use promo code Jeremiah to get 20% off your first order. Every sheath order comes with a 100% money back guarantee. That's sheathunderwear.com. Use promo code Jeremiah and let sheath underwear support your balls. Was that good or what? She saw me do that. She saw me do that in one take. Would you go to sheathunderwear.com? Uh, I wondered what sheath underwear is. Yeah, exactly. I, my husband needs to support his balls. Okay, you support your husband's oh balls, God. right? <laughs> so go to sheathunderwear.com and use promo code Jeremiah to get 20% Jeremiah. off your first order. Jeremiah, sheathunderwear.com. Yeah, baby. Interesting. And how does that make you feel? Sadness? Despair? Sometimes I wonder if, if I should. I just don't know what the point of it all is sometimes. And that's why you should go to betterhelp.com because betterhelp.com has licensed therapists. And you know this weird, awkward, in-between kind of state where you have to go to a therapist and you're in person and then you're like, this is weird because I don't want to be in this room with this stranger. You don't have to do that with better help. You can actually do it online from the comfort of your own home. You can be in bed, you can be taking a shower, you can be on a jog, it doesn't really matter. And if you don't like your therapist, they can match you up with somebody else that you jive with a little bit more. It's pretty chill. I've had to do couples therapy with my wife and one of my least favorite things was going in person and talking to a person that I've never met before and dumping all my feelings off in a room that I've never been inside of. You don't feel comfortable, it's not a safe space, it doesn't feel like that. From the comfort of your home, why not give it a try? Uh-huh. It's super affordable and financial aid is actually available. So, I think mental health is pretty freaking important and I think that you should check it out. And with my help, you'll get a little bit of a discount. Go to, go to BetterHelp, they've, they've got a great offer to help you get started. Visit BetterHelp.com slash Jeremiah for 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash Jeremiah for 10% off your first month. One more time, BetterHelp.com slash Jeremiah. Get BetterHelp. See, they don't care if you mess up at BetterHelp. Because in life, we all make mistakes and we messed up. You see that I just messed up in this read? They're not going to care. Okay, because you know what? Better help is there for you and they'll look past your shortcomings and they don't care if you have trouble reading. Somebody will listen to you, okay? That'll just be between you and I. So go to betterhelp.com slash Jeremiah, get better help and start living happier happier life today.
Thanks, BetterHelp, for sponsoring Jeremiah Wonders. Now let's get back into this episode with Rick Hosick and Joel Jimenez on the special Roadcast presentation. Okay, guys, so we are here at Portillo's right now. Um, we are going to go inside. We're going to uh, eat some eat. of the food. We'll do a little bit of a review for you guys, and then uh, we'll close out the, the Roadcast on the way back. See you soon. Oh, yeah. Portillo's finest right here. Doing it big. Yeah. I'm glad I got two little hot dogs. Fucking good. Okay. <sighs> I mean... Dude. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm literally almost burping up cake Dude, shit. Dude, I'm not coming here for another two years. Fuck this place. Oh. I just shit my pants. <laughs> We're all super lethargic now from that. I mean, it was good, dude. It, it was really amazing. It was incredible. I'm what, did you, what all did you guys get? Joel, you want to start off? <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> I'm really disgusted with myself right now, but... I'm disgusted for you. We don't drive out here often. I know. And uh, people don't want to hear this from me because I'm, <coughs> I'm sort of small, but I... He eats a know, lot. I had, a, I had a, a chili cheese dog, a Chicago dog, a Italian beef sandwich, and then I decided, hey, I want another chili cheese dog. Uh, and then I had a small chocolate cake shake. How much was all that food? Um, it was about, tw- I think like twenty eight dollars ish. Damn, dude. the The first order was eighteen. The second one was like nine bucks. Wow, that's making me sleepy just thinking about all that food. <sighs> what if I just barf right then? I, just, I thought about it when I went to pee, but then I was like, no, this, this, just, just. Do if you it. barf right now, I'd be like. All right, Rick. Do you have anything else you want to plug? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's it, guys. I think that's it. I think that's the that's the show, dude. Yeah, and then Rick, what did you, what was your order? I got two Chicago dogs, order of onion rings, and a large cake shake, and I am comatose. Yeah, I sat. I was like, hey, let's just sit here for like another ten minutes. Before we get in the car, because I'm just like so wiped but out. But their large cake shake is so, it's a, almost an insurmountable amount. It's just <laughs> fuck. <laughs> like I said, I'm not coming here for another two years. Uh, and you had, Jeremiah, you had what? Uh, I had the Italian beef uh, sandwich with uh, the peppers, and I had a chili cheese dog and a small uh, chocolate cake shake. Oh I passed God. on the side so I could get another uh, main course. Yeah, I passed on the fries and stuff so I could have another chili cheese dog. Yeah. I mean, I had no breakfast this morning. I feel, I feel awful and great at the same time. It's weird. Like, uh, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm about, happy. I'm about to start vibing <laughs> real yeah. soon. Yeah, dude. Yeah, man. Uh, but, <laughs> We're no, all just like. But today's a, uh, today's kind of a. Um, cool uh a cool day because i just uh uh i just got i'm allowed to post about it now and uh when this comes out the episode the first episode will have aired so i can talk about it is uh i am um the new joker for uh dc superhero girls on cartoon network so hell yeah i'm pretty freaking excited man and people have been um uh responding well to my take on the voice so uh it's been cool. I think it's great. I think it's uh, it's just enough nostalgia of like the old Batman cartoon, but then with like a little bit of a spin on it, and like, um, yeah, I don't know. Those fans are loyal, man. I've seen people go. You know, everyone loves uh, Mark Hamill, and the the fans just like are really supportive if like you do a a a good job, and I think it they're really gonna love it. I think. Yeah, I definitely. Um, I mean, if you're a fan of the series, any of the anime series or not, I definitely paid homage to Mark Hamill and in, in my in my take on it. For sure, that's a good word, yeah, homage. And, and tried to put a little bit of my own spin into it, my own take into it. But yeah, Heck dude, yeah. it's been, uh, I mean, you guys know, I've been, oof, I've been having to wait on this since May of 2020. Yeah. Wow, that's a long time. It's, it's a long August, time. September, October. You, I knew in, I think, November when we went, when we did Arizona or something, you did the laugh for us in the car, and I was like... Oh, yeah. Excited. I didn't know when 
it was going to come um, out. Yeah, I haven't listened to, uh, I haven't seen the full episode myself, so I'm real curious. I gave them a couple variations. I'm oh, curious. Cool. I'm curious what they ended up choosing out of the ones that I I gave them. So it'll sure. be that'll be interesting. Guys, yeah. there's Knott's Berry Farm right there. I was just gonna say, is that a freaking roller coaster? Yeah. 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 Okay, let's go on that roller coaster. Oh Throw up everything yeah. that we just ate. Oh my gosh. That would be fun. I don't think actually. they're open right now. They look like they're closed. No, what they're. I just saw I, that I thing saw, move. Yeah, unless we're, yeah, yeah, something's moving. They're open, but just probably everyone's <laughs> unless at school. we're tripping from our shakes <laughs> and we're just seeing, seeing things. I had in the, the DMT shake. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's really solid, dude. Dude, but oh, so they announced that card. What what is that DC event that happened? It's called DC Fandom. Okay. Uh, it's kind of like a uh, a little. Comic Con, but just for DC stuff. Come on, cool. dude. Who is this guy? This yeah, bike? see, I see you. <laughs> Rick gets angrier now. Oh, yeah. Uh, Look at those pants he's wearing. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what the fuck what? is wrong with this guy? What? Those are shorts with long socks. I guess that becomes like parachute pants, pants man. <laughs> Rick getting upset about pants is making me laugh really hard. <laughs> what kind of That guy's not even wearing pants. What kind of pants is that guy wearing? Rock and Brews. Oh, this place is... Look at that guitar. Rock and Brews. What guitar? That's uh, oh, Kiss's yeah. establishment. Rock Kiss? and Brews? Yeah, they own it. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Damn. What? Yeah, Kiss. Oh, yeah. Joel had a great riff about medieval times right before this. <laughs> if it was called Medea Times, <laughs> it was it was Medea in a knight's outfit going, Hello! <laughs> and her just playing all the medieval characters. I'm a queen, yo! <laughs> dude, I've been wanting to come to some of these. The Pirates Dinner Adventure. Oh, I would, dude, we would, we gotta get a big group together and just, I've heard it's so fun. Yeah, I went as a kid. It's it's pretty awesome. Yeah, that's great. I'll eat a bunch of fucking mushrooms. And big old turkey of, legs. Big old turkey legs. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that DC thing, like I could see, you know, in the future, fucking, you could do like appearances and stuff like that. Or I say this, you're going to get a bigger and better job from it. Hopefully. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, for sure. Why would you do appearances when you're just a voiceover actor? Cause they love the Batman fans really love. But they like, don't know uh, what Jeremiah looks like. Oh, they no, they it will. It doesn't matter. Really? Yeah. They they're like. That's actually its own world. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's like it's its own fucking fandom. Like. So you're gonna be going on Comic Con and have to do that voice all day long for a bunch no, of I, you nerds. No, I'm just saying like you know, uh, pe- or like people that really enjoy it would be really excited to. Here, man. Can can I? I'm gonna it. record this real quick. Can you do that one or line? Or like I mean, like a panel. You know, like if you're on the stage, if they do like you know the halls with like questions and answers sort of thing would be fun. Q and A. Um, I don't know. I say bigger and better jobs. For sure. I mean, that's you know, that's the goal with any any gig is is uh, onwards and upwards. But yeah, I'm just for living sure. in the moment for a second, and being grateful. You know. There you go. All, Amen. all I can do. It's all we all can do. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's another truck. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking hate <laughs> these trucks. All we can be do is be grateful that son of a that is a <laughs> truck to my right. Guys, you just gotta stay positive, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I am. I'm trying to get away from this truck. <laughs> <laughs> There's literally trucks everywhere, everywhere. that Ricky's trying to turn. What is this? A freaking truck yard? <laughs> <laughs> what the what the truck's going on over yeah. here? Oh, no, here we are. Is that a grave digger? The monster <laughs> truck pulls up. Frick Cossack over here. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Whoa, this guy's like tailgate me, okay. Really? Drive fast guy. Whoa, that Whoa, guy. Whoa, cool fucking exhaust system. <laughs> Dick. <laughs> Dude, we gotta make a road rage segment with Rick. <laughs> road rage with Rick. He's one of those guys that is really loud in the neighborhood with those fancy exhaust systems. You're like, oh ah. man. Yes, yeah, true. What was the? What was your favorite car you've ever owned? The one right. I'm driving in right now. Heck yeah, dude. Wow. Heck yeah. I, I like would this have car to say the only car I've ever had. <laughs> your pickup. Yeah, I like it. Honestly, I love your truck. It just doesn't have AC. That's the only thing. But uh, hmm, I'm trying to think if I, I don't know. Driving in in red band uh, Tesla was pretty awesome. That car is amazing. It's just like a spaceship. Mm-hmm. That guy's all fucking. How about you, Jeremiah? Favorite car I've ever owned? Yeah. 
Or driven, I guess. Um, my favorite car that I've ever owned was uh, my 98 Acura CL that I hung on to for as long as I could. Mm. Um, that was the one right before the blue? Yeah. Gotcha. It was like, it was basically, it was like a luxury sports car from the 90s. And it was just like, man, I loved that car. The leather was really comfortable and just like broken in really nicely. And I just, I also babied that car. So like the paint was good on it. I used to wax it like back in the day and all that stuff. Uh, I like my car now though. My car now is just more of just like a, like I'm not like in love with it, but I like it a lot. You know what I mean? Yeah. Can't really go wrong with Hondas. Yeah, I like I like. You're like I drive a, <laughs> I don't drive a Honda, Joel. I Guys, I'm having a hard time thinking and driving right now. I feel like I just want to close my eyes. Well, okay, good. <laughs> <Do> we <laughs> try to keep Rick up. <laughs> yeah. All right, this is Rick's wake up call. Jeez. <laughs> Maybe if we get enough trucks to follow us, he'll be awake. <laughs> oh, just I'm, be I'm angry. Awake. Rick, yep. w- Rick, what was your first kiss like? Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, well, last week I. Uh... <laughs> You're so stupid. <laughs> Man, I don't know if I even remember my first one. Oh my gosh, I just realized something. What? I'm gonna take us into the worst area of Los Angeles right now. It smells like hell. Why? I've made a mistake. I thought we're not. I thought we're on the five, but we're on the ninety-one. Oh boy. You're. You guys are in for it. It's gnarly. Is this Fontana? No. Carson. Why does it smell so Norco. bad? Norco. I don't know. They're saying there's something wrong with the water. And the, they said the something r- wrong with the, the people? It's yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's something in the water. It's something. shit. <laughs> it's worse than that. I drove by it the other night. It was like, holy shit. I was like, whoa. I, I have sympathy for the people who live in this area because it's bad. Damn, that mm. sucks. And they don't even know what's wrong. Wow. Well, then they so, deserve it. So it's a good thing we uh, had a great meal. Uh, yeah. It might be coming up. It was good while it lasted. Yeah, you know. Yeah. It just matters. What matters is you taste it on the way down. So what's the last movie you guys saw? Hmm. I saw Ryan J. Ebel recommended this Spanish horror movie called Day of the Beast. I watched a... Uh, in the theater. No, no, no. Oh, in the theater. Damn. Um, Candyman, I think. Oh, you went and saw that? Was it good? Yeah. Yeah, I really liked it. I went yeah. saw that in the theater. That was the last theater movie I, I saw. I thought it was about as good of a of a sort of I guess it's not a remake, it's more of a sequel, but the as good of a job as they as they could have done with with bringing that back. I don't even remember seeing the first one. It's really good, too. It's it's they, I don't know, they both uh even the new one like a lot of the set design and stuff like that is very reminiscent of the first one like the colors and some of the set decoration in the apartments. Um. Yeah, it was. I really enjoyed it. I saw Halloween Kills the other day. Yeah, I think I'm gonna watch that today. In the theater or on Peacock? Oh. Um, probably on Peacock. How, I don't think once I get home, I'm leaving the house. How much older can she get? I mean, like with trying to chase down this. I mean, is she they gonna shot be two of them? <laughs> is she gonna it. be There's a walk- another one coming? Is she gonna be a Walker? Um, in the no, next one? <laughs> there's there's three of them. They signed a three movie contract, so. This is number two, and then there's one more. Are you kidding me? The, the third one's already shot. Yeah, Halloween Kills. Well, luckily, I mean, by the third one, she's just like in a <laughs> ventilator, and she's like like rolling down the sidewalk yeah. in a hospital bed. I'm going to get a little spoiler. This son of, huh? I was kind of annoyed by one of the scenes. Uh, right. are, you doing, are you doing an actual spoiler? Do I do I need to let the people know? To well, if it's uh, by the time this comes out, it's already been out for a week. Will they ruin it for me watching it today? Maybe. Okay, oh. I'm going to cover my ears. Cover your ears. Okay, we're about to do a spoiler for Halloween Kills, I guess. I haven't seen it yet, but maybe I won't maybe see it. Maybe you try not to say anything then? Are you going to watch yeah, it? Yeah, I don't say anything. All right. There's, just, there's a part that I was like, I'm just going to say I fucking was annoyed. Okay. Storyline. There, there was a truck that drove by. <laughs> there, was, there were a couple <laughs> trucks, man. <laughs> uh, Honestly, <laughs> the only part that annoyed me in Candyman was... They used CGI for when he looked in the mirror and saw Candyman uh-huh. uh, rather than just using a person. I, I thought it looked f- too fake. I was like, that's huh. the only thing that took me out of it, the entire movie. I don't really remember when that. When he's going like this and he's looking and seeing the hook. Okay. There's the, 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 the image of the Candyman guy in the mirror 
and it just looked super fake to me. Huh. I was so high. I didn't even. No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah, I gotta. I'm gonna watch that again soon too. Um, uh, Did you guys watch the TV series Ted Lasso? I love Ted Lasso. Amazing. No, I've been wanting to. It's a really positive, good show. It's Everyone's so fun. Oh, I think you and Maya were telling me to watch it. Yeah, it's really good. It's probably the best TV show I've ever watched. It's really, really good. I hate Nate right now. <laughs> Everybody does. Everybody hates Nate. Yeah, well, they, 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 they without built, giving away too much, they've just changed that. That guy's arc is an incredible arc, like, I don't as a really character. You know, because, like, when he just flipped out and, you know, obviously we could talk about it. And, Joel, sorry. I've never felt more left out. Go ahead. He just okay. flipped out at the end, and I'm like, what, where did this come from? How did this, this – where was this building that I wasn't paying attention? It's just daddy issues. Oh. That's all it is. That's what I drew apart from it. That's not giving anything away. Yeah, I don't – They, like, they, they hint at it through – yeah. Because hmm. I thought Ted Lasso treated him really well. Yeah. Maybe that's the interesting – that cut me of it all. That was a really good ending to that season. Oh, well, we should, probably, should, probably shouldn't say anything about the actual ending for people who are still on Ted Lasso because a lot of people are still well, watching that. Well, fuck them. How many? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to save myself work later so I don't have to bleep stuff. <laughs> how, many, uh, how many seasons is there? Two? Two. two. Okay, cool. Yeah. Man. We won a lot of awards. Dude. Oh, dude, Jason Sudeikis' is acting is amazing. Amazing. Uh, well, they those came from, like, fake, like, things he used to do right like on not on instagram like on youtube i think or i don't know which came first if they they did the show because he was doing the american whoa. coach whoa okay D uh, double lines too only guy in the carpool lane ford fiesta well, i don't right. see more than one person in that car Ooh. he's like it's a ford fiesta that means there's a party <laughs> okay all right all wow. right are you, are you working on these things, these lines every day when you wake up and look in the mirror? No, actually, oh, if, you don't, if you don't believe it, they're <laughs> all off the top. <laughs> hey, Joe, yeah. I got one for you. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what I sound like to people? No. Uh, oh, no. my goodness. <laughs> what a funny riff. Do you look in the mirror and practice these every day? <laughs> Is that what you do? Huh? When you look at yourself, do you hate yourself so much <laughs> that you have to create Another persona, alter ego that's funny because you know you'll never truly be that way deep on the inside. <sighs> okay, I feel like I'm back. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah, co food coma's gone. Whoa. Oh, good. Yeah. Heck yeah, man. My day is fucked, I think. <laughs> so. I'm going to go to the gym tonight. Oh, you oh, are? Wow. Yeah. Man. Dude. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> the gym <laughs> is our favorite buffet <laughs> that we go to down the street. <laughs> it's J-I-M. <laughs> it's J yeah. Gym's, Gym's buffet. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I'm, go I'm going there tonight too then, dude. Uh, there's no way you're catching me in an actual G-Y-M oh, gym. After I we ate all that, I'd feel so sick, dude. This is this day well, is done for me. But it's only quarter to two. I Dude, mean, but I, I four just, hours from now. Just you... the exercise aspect sounds like the worst thing ever to me right now. Oh my god. <sighs> yeah, I would need like a head, like a crazy pre workout, or else I would not be able to. Oh, this guy's the bike. Damn, he's Holy that guy. Shit. Wow, flying, dude. That's easily a hundred miles an hour. Yeah, he's got to be careful. Hey, oh buddy, be careful. <laughs> hey, be careful. He looks over and he crashes because you. <laughs> because I said, hey. <laughs> yeah, you go, hey, be careful. Hey. God, that would be terrifying to see, huh? I don't, yeah, I don't want to see Dude, that. Uh, back in my uh, college acting class, one of the exercises that we had to share was um, a story, a personal story about ourselves that was like a, like if we've ever experienced something miraculous in our lives. And this guy. Uh, who rode a motorcycle to acting class every day. He was an older guy who was taking like, community college classes, like uh, just acting classes for fun, basically yeah. after he already had like a career as like a lawyer or whatever. Damn. So he's telling the story of how when he used to ride his bike and he got in this motorcycle crash where traffic comes to a dead uh, halt and like because cars are like crashing in front of him. And he's going 
75 on a bike and has no time Jesus. to stop. And he brakes as much as he can, but he hits the car in front of him, and he starts flying through the air. And he said, like he like literally Superman style, where he is literally going like this through the air. God. Oh man. And he lands on the cement on his feet. What? He lands on his feet. Shut. This is a real story. This is a real story. But listen, he he lands on his feet, and people are like, "Are you okay? Like you just you just flew through the air and you landed on your feet." <laughs> He said that after the adrenaline wore off, he couldn't walk for weeks because every Everything every hurt. muscle in his body was so tense from catching him yeah. like that, like yeah. at that at that force that he said that he like all the muscles in his body oh like God. he couldn't bruised. Eat. Yeah, wow. bruised like his entire body, but he didn't break anything. Fucking hell. Isn't that crazy? Man. That is nuts. Well, that's why they say, like, drunk drivers <laughs> usually live, right? Because they don't tense up. So yeah. I could see the tensing really messing you up. Yeah. <clears throat> Holy shit. I'd love to see that on video. Oh, uh, I, I, it was it was a great story that this guy told. It was like, whoa. And obviously, I never forgot. I still Dude, think of it Dude, he's lucky. I guess the way he hit the car, though, like, that, you Dude, know, everything had to, him instead Everything of, had to be perfect for him to land on his feet. Holy he just like shit. walk out of it. He walked out yeah, initially, and then like literally, like later on, he said later on the day or the next day, his entire body shut down. Holy cow! For all we know, he was taking another acting class, and that was a fake monologue <laughs> that he wrote for this one. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that was his workshop for the monologue. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I flew through the air, and then I realized. <laughs> Did you guys see Venom? No, I want no, to, though. Okay. I have no interest in it. I love the first one. I, the only thing that bugged me, I didn't see the first one. I want to see it. I love Tom Hardy. By the way, Tom Hardy, if you're if you're listening to this. Yeah, Tom call, Hardy, if you're listening up. to Jeremiah Wonders, then. Um, um, uh, there's a scene in the trailer where, like, the Venom character does, like, a mic drop at a show. Like, did you see that? He goes like this. He puts his arm out and he, like, drops the mic. And I was like, ah, they, you guys lost me there. But Oh, I don't. I don't. I don't see that. But I guess I don't really, because I haven't seen either. I don't understand the tone of the movie. It, it could totally Oh, you make haven't sense. seen either? No. Oh. I do want to see part one, maybe. It's amazing. I love it. It it's it doesn't take itself seriously at all. That's what's okay. so fun about it. It's kind of like Deadpool-ish? Yeah, for cool. sure. Okay. For sure. That's cool. For sure. Okay, I smell a little bit what you're talking about, Rick. Oh, great. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'm not really sh sure why... Um, we're doing aromatherapy with it by rolling down the window. <laughs> yeah. Now it's trapped in here. Yeah. Oh, it's it will get even worse if, it, if we pass it correctly. <laughs> if we pass it correctly. We're going to take the south I think south we're wind. good. We think it's down a little bit more. I mean, it's, you know. No, that's nothing, man. Because I drove down here the other night. I went to San Pedro. And I was like, <laughs> all windows are open. I'm like, oh. I'm like, whoa, what's that fucking? Oh, my God. I was like fucking freaking out. <laughs> what did you do in San Pedro? I went to this. There's a really uh my friend Todd Conjolier, old pro skater, uh -huh. has a club down there that bands play at. The Sardine? Yeah. I, I, I was there a couple weeks ago. It's fucking rad, isn't it? Yeah, it's super cool. It's got the bar, like, record store up front it's and so the back. It's so fucking cool, man. Like, so. That's dope. Yeah, we I just reconnected with him recently after fucking long-ass time. I was like, oh, I'll come down and say hi. And yeah. He was like, yeah, I'm working the stage. Cool. Yeah, I sold merch for a friend's band, like, like two weeks ago. Mm-hmm. Some cool like uh, band from from L.A. It's like a Latino band. Okay. What they are they fucking, called? I forgot. Man. Left they, Alone, Union Thirteen. They fucking shredded. Let me it see. Like, I'm gonna look this up. They were like kind of indie rock, but really, really good. Cool. Yeah, I'm gonna look up. Yeah, that venue is cool as hell, man. I wish it was closer to me. They're gonna. He says he's gonna open up next store. Okay. Bigger, bigger room, bigger stage. Bigger, you know, all around bigger. So I mean, that's coming. But I want to see, I want to see a band live again soon. It's been. A I went minute and saw for me. Pennywise a couple weeks ago oh, at the dude, Theater. It was awesome. That's awesome. Joe loves Pennywise. <clears throat> yeah, I love the Deviates too. I, you didn't get to see them, huh? No, I saw Dead Kennedys. Okay, how's that guy doing? The, eh, how's the new singer? It was all right. Yeah, it's just hard. I, I it's sort a hard. Of, Dude, it's hard to follow the original. You it's know? also they just got the 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 band the members they got into some weird like legal shit with Jello because they wanted to put <clears throat> like a song in a commercial or so. I, I don't know what it was, you know. So it was just a uh, I don't know. 
I haven't really followed a lot of. I followed Jello's career more than I did the Dead Kennedys after they got the the new guy. Apparently, he's like he just kind of does like sort of an impression of Jello in a way. Yeah, I guess. I had see a that. friend that saw them and he swore he saw Jello, and I was like, no, that wasn't him, dude. Like we, I Googled it in the car, and it was like. Mm. Yeah, but Pennywise was fucking incredible, man. I mean, They're, yeah, holy dude. Holy shit. He shredded. Yeah, they're a well-oiled machine, man. Yeah, I, man. I've never seen them have a bad show. Like, uh, Fletcher's a psychopath in the best way. Yep, uh, pretty much. Old school fucking crazy punk rocker. You know, he plays those Ibanez guitars, and they make him a custom body that's, like, two times bigger than the regular yeah, guitar. Yeah, because otherwise look like you'd be playing a ukulele out yeah, there. Yeah, it still looks, like, small on him, kind of. Yeah, his, yeah. Man. He has to have, like, a, he has, like, a light that hits his neck. Okay. You ever notice that? No. I don't know, well, next time you, when you get to go see him, he has, like, from the top, there's, like, a little, like, a little flashlight that hits the neck, so... He could see real quick where his hands are at. Oh, cool. I guess it means he needs to wear glasses. May, yeah, yeah, he does wear them, right? Well, when he's not performing. Uh, 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 they're playing soon again with uh, in Big Bear, I think. Big Bear. Yeah, they're playing. It's them. Uh, the Deviates. Um, and Field Day. Which is cool. That's. It'll be. I don't know how far is Big Bear anyway. Eh, maybe two and a half hours away. I want to see Bad Religion in November. They're playing the Palladium. I want to we go been snowboarding again. We met oh. him over the weekend in Vegas. Oh, cool. Have you been keeping in touch, Jason? Yeah. He also saw Rancid, he said. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. I haven't seen him in a while. I know. He hasn't. He's been on the road, though, and stuff. Well, he lives down in Orange County now. Yeah. And, uh,. Since there's like really no reason to come to LA anymore for entertainment, but maybe soon, you know, like things are kind of lightening up. It seems. So hopefully, it stays that way. Yeah, yeah for sure. Hopefully, we're uh, at the at the ending stage of this weird pandemic. You believe it's been almost two years of it? No way, man. <sighs> it's yeah. I mean, it literally. I didn't do stand up on the spot for a year and a half. It killed me. Oh. Like, I was tripping, like, when it first started. I'm like, wake up in the, in the morning, like, is this really happening? Like, what the hell is going on, man? Like, they're saying I got to stay home. Hell no. I'm going to go walking around. <laughs> I'm not sitting in my fucking place every day. I have some good memories during the pandemic of, of like, exploring, a, like, alone and stuff. And Yeah, man. It was great walking around the city with no one out. Yeah. And remember how nice the freeways were for a little bit? No trucks. Yeah, just riding around the city and it's just like super mellow. There's no cars. Last time Joel and I had uh, Portillo's was during the pandemic uh, where we could get it to go through the drive-thru and we ate it in the parking lot. Really? Yeah. yeah. That was the last time I had it at least. I was like, a, well, beginning of the year. Yeah, I think I drove through maybe in uh, July or August. Mm. So, yeah. I guess Chroma Chris moved up the street uh, on my street. Yeah, oh. yeah, I went over on uh, sa- Sunday. Yeah, I'm gonna have to reconnect with them. It's been a little bit. Yeah, it was cool. We watched Twilight Zone. And, Twilight Saga. Uh, yeah. I thought you literally. Uh, we watched the Twilight Saga. <laughs> yeah, we watched the whole Twilight Saga. What do yeah. you think? What do you guys think of of uh, Robert Pattinson being Batman? Looks cool. Don't know anything about it. Yeah, they showed a trailer where like people they finally heard his voice and people were really stoked on the voice he does. They were like, and I heard it. it's pretty fucking cool. I think uh, I don't know. It looks good. It looks kind of like a mix of the Tim Burton and the Christopher Nolan ones, like. It's got some cool color in the trailer, but also looks the violence looks like real. Like I love the soundtrack so far. Yeah, w- w- uh, I don't know who does it, but it's just like this. Ah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's like, like very like operatic. demented and like warped and. Uh, Paul Dano is gonna be the Riddler, which is exciting. He's a great actor, I think. That'd be cool. And um, I've liked some of the the Riddler's voice too. Is like 
some of the clips. It's, he seems to be talking through some sort of like voice, like thing, like a modulator or something. Yeah, something like that. And it's really yeah. cool. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I don't know. It looks good. Andy Circus is in it. Mm. I think he might be playing Alfred. Uh, um, yeah, I don't know. That guy's a talented physical actor. For sure. Dude. Did, you, did you guys see the Val Kilmer documentary? No. No, I was hearing about it yesterday. What did oh you think? Oh, my God. It's incredible. Yeah. Really? Dude, watch immediately. Yeah. I'm not going to say anything. Yeah, I heard the best stuff is when he's on working on Dr. Moreau, and he's like, uh, it's incredible, man. That guy documented every aspect of his career. Damn. Everything. Yeah, like directors would get pissed, right? Yeah, he was always had his camera going. They'd be like, really? stop filming, stop filming. He's really? like, oh, yeah. yeah. Did you ever see when he played Mark Twain on stage? It was like a live play. He played Mark Twain. Well, if you watch the documentary, you might see it. Oh, cool. The posters for it were so cool. It was like an awesome black and white photo. Him as Mark Twain with like cigarette smoke or something, and it it just looked so cool. He looked just like Mark Twain <laughs> with a thought bubble that just has the N word on it. <laughs> <laughs> he really captured Mark oh, Twain really well. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. Man, uh, my friend Greg Edwards, comedian, he had a joke. He said his favorite rapper is Mark Twizzane <laughs> because so he, he says the N word a lot. He goes, and I like rappers who so say the N word. So you guys a lot. know what happened to Mark? I mean, to Val, right? He has cancer, right? Throat cancer? Yeah, so I wasn't ready for it. I didn't know. I didn't know that either. And, oh, wow. Fuck, sorry. No, I mean, it's pretty widely known. Like I didn't. I, I, did, oh. I knew it was sick, but I didn't know. And then, like, you hear this uh, 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 like yeah. voice, and I was like, what the hell is that? What's going on? And I was like, and it was him, and I was like, oh, yeah, so fucking blown away. And yeah. His son narrates the whole documentary, and. That's why he's rocking the scarf all the time. And yeah, shit, man, dude. Yeah. it's pretty fucking gnarly. Uh, it's from smoking. I don't know. Oh. Yeah, that's a weird one because you can. There are like people who never smoked their whole life and they get like lung cancer. Yeah. Whatever, you just never know. You know the cards. Fuck. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> this has been an emotional. Yeah, emotional. Do we end it with a, another Adele song? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Rick just starts belting out Adele to close. I can't, yeah, yeah, we man. find out he. She can sings sing. with her hands. I notice. She sings with her hands. Yeah, watch her <laughs> video. It's like her hands are just flying all over the place. He's like, okay. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> You'll see. Watch. Okay, I'm gonna be one of the billion viewers. Uh, so wh when's the new release date for uh for Jackass Four? February. February. Guys, look out for. Jackass Forever in theaters in February. If you last this long through the podcast, <laughs> it was a. It, I mean, it was a, it was a slow, slow close. You know what I mean? Like it came to a slow roll. Oh, there's clothing out in the highway from this wreck or something that might have happened. <sighs> little, a uh, little bit of a fender bender. Yeah, Mercedes and Subaru. Good they pull over to the side of the road on the wrong side. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking idiots, man. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Dude, Rick's school of driving coming to a, <laughs> coming to a YouTube near you. Uh, Joel, do you have anything to plug, buddy? Um, when is this coming out? It'll be on Monday, my friend. That is. Let's see. Let me check. I have a show. Uh, whatever. Just follow me on Instagram. I'll post about all my shit. But I got a, a couple shows coming. Joel up is soon. at mostly sorry on Instagram. Yeah. I'm at Jeremiah Stand Up and uh, check. Uh, Online, my tour schedule. I'm heavily on tour right now. Have a lot of going? cities uh, coming up. I am going to be in Dania Beach, Florida, at the end of the month. Florida. Uh, mm-hmm. Batavia, Illinois, uh, Houston. Ah. A lot of places coming Ooh. up. St. Louis, Missouri. Wow. wow. Okay. Yeah. Um, Tempe, Arizona. Ooh. Yeah. A nice. lot of lot of a lot of fun places coming. That's all, cool. All so the, continuous like movement, or do you come home and then go back out? Uh, almost every weekend, I'm out on the road. Damn. Yeah, it's a little thick right now, but uh, I take them as they come. So. Whoa! Look at Romstein's playing. That's cool. Do, 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 do. Right over there. I'm gonna see System of a Down on Saturday. What? Where? 
Yeah, here at Bank of America. What? No Bank way. Of America, They're yeah. playing? Well, so we had tickets from before the pandemic, and it was canceled, and then now they're doing it again, but they're honoring the tickets from before. So. Oh, okay. I'm jealous of that yeah. one. I've wanted to see them live, too. Yeah, I think I read be. something like they're going to play. I'm like, what? I'm like, well, they did it on the 15th with corn too, and then now they're coming back here the the 23rd. So those guys just need to settle their differences and write new music. Yeah, it's all the members, right? Yeah, yeah. dude, I came. You would have loved it, Joel, in Kansas City. One of the late shows, I sang Toxicity in its full, like, yeah. like for my intro. Oh, cool. And just you went mean off. like how when you when you have the DJ play a song and then you come out and you start it? Gotcha. I did. I That's literally great. he played it from. I said play it from the top and I walked out. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Oh, dude. Oh man, that's great. I saw System oh, Down play the Roxy before they broke. No. <laughs> Go ahead. At the Roxy. You saw them play the Roxy before they were famous. Damn. Really? Yep. What was that like? Man, I, you could tell that they were going. They're about be s- to pop. You were like the way the fans were. And they, ah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I've seen just, clips of them at the whiskey. Like, man, that. You, you knew these guys were gonna be big. That's cool, man. Yeah, they're super good. I'm wow. excited. Check it out, the LA skyline in the pod. Yeah, man. Look at how wide that skyline is becoming. It's pretty big. Wide load. Pretty big. Thank you guys for watching another. Roadcast here in Jeremiah Wonders with my pal Rick Kosick and Joel Jimenez. I love you guys, and I'll see you soon.